was Willie Moretti, the underboss of what is now called the Genovese crime family, actually murdered because he was a government informant. Let's check it out. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today we're going to take a quick look at whether the greatly feared mobster Willie Moretti was actually killed because he was a government informant. On October the 4th 1951, Willie Moretti also known as Willie Moore, a powerful captain under Frank Costello, and also for a time his acting underboss in the then Luciano crime family, was in Joe's Elbow Room restaurant in Cliffside Park, New Jersey, when he was gunned down. His murder remains officially unsolved, but one of the suspected gunmen is believed to have been John Johnny Roberts Robolotto, a man who would become a captain in the Albert Anastasia crime family. Much has been written about the motive behind Willie Moretti's killing. It is often said that Moretti was murdered because the mob was worried about his behaviour, which had become erratic due to his mental health deteriorating from syphilis. Other sources state that it was Vito Genovese who had helped fuel the rumours of Moretti's deteriorating mental health problems that he had been pushing for Moretti to be killed. Allegedly part of his long-term plan to seize power in the crime family by removing one of family boss Frank Costello's closest allies. Whether this is true is up for debate. However, FBI files show another potential motive for Willie Moretti's killing. The files show that the mob was concerned that Moretti was in fact a government informant. The FBI file from 1967 states, New York, refer to San Diego Airtel to Bureau, 71067, referring to the LCN murder of Willie Moore of New Jersey, who, according to the informant, was an informant for a Colonel White of the Narcotics Bureau. As is clearly stated in the file, an informant advised the FBI that Willie Moretti was providing information to Colonel White of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. Colonel White was Colonel George Hunter White. He had served in the US Army and the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services, which was an intelligence agency during World War II. But Colonel White had been with the Federal Bureau of Narcotics since 1935, except the years 1942 to 1945, when he had served in the military as mentioned. On a side note, Colonel White had also been involved with experiments with truth serums, and had even talked about how they had used experimental truth serums on a mobster. A government memo from 1943 states, On June 2nd, 1943, E.P. Coffey of the Bureau Laboratory attended a meeting of a committee of the National Academy of Sciences looking into the possibility of using truth serum for confidential purposes in the war. Present at the meeting, among others, was Captain George White of OSS, who was formerly a narcotic investigator stationed in New York City. The memorandum reflected, White had described experiments conducted with some of the serum saturated in cigarettes on a narcotics gangster who called at his apartment in New York City the past week. He described the effects of the drug, indicating it removed any apparent restraint on the gangster who spoke freely in his presence. So, as we can see, Colonel George Hunter White had been a long-serving member of the FBN and was, in 1950, the District Supervisor of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics, San Francisco, California. The file on Willie Moretti being an informant continues as follows. The generally accepted view of Moretti's death is that it was mob directed to silence Moretti who was ailing with paresis and suspected of being senile and therefore a potential threat. 
Moretti had appeared before the Senate Crime Investigating Committee in 1950 and was described as a willing witness. News accounts of his testimony at the hearings described to George White of the Federal Narcotics Bureau as sitting in on the hearings. This extract of the file again outlines the traditionally accepted motive for Willie Moretti's murder and highlights the presence of Colonel George White at the famous Senate hearings in 1950. The FBI file continues as follows. The death of Moretti was discussed with the informant. He identified him as the Willie Moore he referred to in a previous meeting. Informant advised that he was the one who determined Moretti was an informant for White, because in a conversation with White in Tijuana, BC, Mexico, White indicated he was aware of the informant's redacted information. This had only just occurred and the informant reasoned that the only one White could learn it from was Moretti. The government informant is stating that he was the one who worked out that Moretti was an informant, after he met with Colonel White, who divulged information that could have only come from Moretti. The FBI file then states how the informant then took his theory about Moretti working with the FBN to his mob superiors. The file reads... Informant advised redacted name this charge against Moretti in an LCN meeting in Los Angeles 1951 and among those present at the meeting were Jack I. Dragner, LCN Los Angeles boss at the time, John Piziola and Jimmy Quasarano of Detroit, Momo Adamo, John Roselli and Simone Scazzari, the former Los Angeles underboss. So, to put a face to some of the heavyweight mobsters who heard the accusations against Moretti, we have Inazio Jack Dragner, the then boss of Cosa Nostra in Los Angeles, John Popper John Priziola, a senior figure in the Detroit Partnership, Rafael Jimmy Q. Quasarano, another high ranking member of the Detroit Partnership, Girolamo Momo Adamo, an important figure in the Los Angeles Cosa Nostra. John, handsome Johnny Vazelli, a mobster with the Chicago outfit who worked closely with the Los Angeles Mafia. And finally, Simone Sam Scazzari, a mobster in the Los Angeles Cosa Nostra who would later attend the disastrous Appalachian Mafia Summit. So, how did the Mafia confirm that Willie Moretti was working with the FBN. The file states, After listening to a redacted names charge, they contacted Joe Zirilli, who was in New York at the time, and he arranged for Tommy Lucchese to investigate the charge. Their investigation verified that Moretti was an informant of Colonel White's, and this was accomplished by feeding false information to Moretti. This resulted in Moretti's murder. Informant advised that he did not know the identity of the persons in New York who actually carried out the killing. So, as we can see, the mobsters who had the West Coast meeting reached out to Joseph Cirilli, a boss of the Detroit Partnership, who was visiting New York at that time. In turn, Cirilli spoke with New York powerhouse Tommy Lucchese, who launched an East Coast investigation into the accusations that Willie Moretti was an informant. Lucchese, and presumably others, allegedly arranged for misinformation to be fed to Moretti and then waited for Colonel White and the FBN to take action on it. And, as a result of this, Willie Moretti was murdered. For all those interested, it was Los Angeles mobster Frank Bomp Bompensero, who was the informant who provided this information and took credit for discovering that Willie Moretti was an informant. There is of course the possibility that Willie Moretti was killed for a culmination of various reasons. But this FBI file certainly provides food for thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.